Here I am today with mint mongoose and bookishly. My name's Fawn and this is my channel and it's a happy place, although today it's a rainy, miserable day. Um, I like to unbox, I like to do hauls, I like to do reviews and try-ons and you name it, I'll have a go at it. Anyway, if that sounds like your kind of thing, please do give me a thumbs up, click subscribe and leave me a comment. So, Mint Mongoose came a few days ago and it's been waiting for me and then Bookishly arrived yesterday and you know how much I love Bookishly. So I'm going to dive into Bookishly first because I want to find out what I'm reading this month. I've just finished an absolutely superb book that I will be talking about in my Mask Monday. So I don't want to give too much away. But the book is written by somebody who watches my channel. So anyway, Bookishly, as you know, I just do the small one. I do the monthly tea club, I think it's called. There's coffee or tea. I have tea because I can't have caffeine and I get more chance of herbal teas. Um, although the last few have not been herbal teas and I haven't been able to drink them. So this one is, oh no, this one, uh, mm, this one is Obstinate Headstrong Brew, Pomegranate and Hibiscus Green Tea. I would imagine that that has got caffeine in it. I have to check, but green tea usually does have, and I react really badly to caffeine. I get all jittery and ugh, but I have lots of people in the family that don't and thoroughly enjoy trying all of these. And then I have the book. Um, is it going to give it away on the... Yes. This is the bookmark for it this month. Very simple. And it says, I declare, after all, there is no enjoyment like reading. How much sooner one tires of anything than of a book. Pride and Prejudice. So I would imagine it's going to be Pride and Prejudice in here. And if it's so, I have read it a lot. But I'm happy to read it again. So let's just see. Yes. Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. I'm a little bit disappointed because that is just so classic that I must have about four copies of it. And in fact, we had to do a bit of it for my degree <laughs> years ago. But I will read it again because, you know, it, it is an amazing book. Um, yeah, I mean, I will definitely read it again. But oh, it's better when it's something that I either haven't read for a long, long time or have never read at all because then... Yeah, it's, it's quite exciting to get into. Whereas this is not exciting. It's more like, it's more like an old friend. It's like a comfy pair of slippers to have Pride and Prejudice. And I have to say to everyone else out there, Pride and Prejudice with Keira Knightley, what a load of rubbish. I love the BBC one with, um, oh, you know, oh, um, Colin Firth. Oh, that is such a good version of Pride and Prejudice. But anyway, that was my bookishly for this month. Pride and Prejudice, bookmark and tea. Then we move on to Mint Mongoose, which is always far more exciting in that you have no idea of what's in it. You know, with bookishly and things like, you know, it's a book. <laughs> this, yes, I know it's jewellery, but ouch, it can be any kind of jewellery. Oh, I just want to show you in case it shows on here. I put on that other set of nails, the Jess, Jess Wright, was it? They're nowhere near as good. I flicked one off. Like, it looks like I'm being rude. I flicked one off, lifting some bags into the car just now. And I went, ooh, because it feels like the thumb one's going to go. They're just not as good. Whether it's the, well, to be fair, these felt far more bendy when I took them out of the packet than the 99p white with the French tip. So I'm just desperate to get those again. Anyway, moving back on. Mint Mongoose, as you know, they now come with a t-shirt, which is really exciting. It catches me out sometimes. I have to be careful. And it always is bundled up and it says thank you on here. Again, great colour. This is a nice grey. Oops. If I can get the label off. And it is of... What is it of? Oops, what is it of? Um, oh, I like that. Look at that. It's grey. And then in sort of Scrabble squares, it says, hi, love. Oh, I like that. I like that an awful lot. Excel. It's going to be small on me at the moment with the weight that I've gained. I mean, you know, it'll go on, but it, it'll probably look a little bit indecent over the chest. So it's going to have to go away until I lose a bit of weight. Or it would make a really great gift for somebody like Jay who loves things like that. So I'm happy, I'm really happy, whether I wear it or I give it to someone else. I think that's gorgeous, the quality is there. And I think that's so clever to have done the, the, the 
Scrabble squares. Hi, love. But this is what I'm really here for, the main event. Of course, you get your piece of Werther's original. Is it Werther's original? Yeah, Werther's original. And then you get your beautiful bundle and it has a card. Oh, and there's a lady on the front with I love you on the front. So let me just, just look. Ah, my grandma, grandpa and sister. So I wonder if this is grandma. One thing that the world as it is currently has made abundantly clear to me is the value of the people in our lives is the value the people in our lives offer. The ability to spend time with, hug, love on and laugh with family and friends is something so important and irreplaceable. Last year I spent many many days with the kiddos at my grandparents house. My sister and I would be playing rummy with our grandma while the kids ran around playing with grandpa. As the virus grabbed a hold of society that norm changed shape but how, oh how I miss those cosy love filled days. Oh that's so true. Um, and she talks a lot more about them. They're in their upper 80s. Um, they're the inspiration for this, this set. The colour blue is grandma's favourite. Um, oh, it's lovely. It's really long. I mean, I'd be here all day if I read all of that. But it's really lovely. I do love that about Helena, that she gives a piece of herself to the, the jewellery that she sends you. Um, I only hope that it's honest, you know, I mean, I mean, it would be a great sort of marketing ploy, wouldn't it? But I don't think it is. I think it's genuine. And as I say, as always, it comes so beautifully wrapped. And now I'm going to open it and see how many nails I ping off opening it. Not a one, presuming that's it open. And then oh, 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 out it comes, out of the envelope. You get your thank you card always with their Facebook details, etc. And then you get your little bundle. Here we go. I've got to try not to look down too much. I did a video the other day and I discovered I spent a whole lot of time going like that. <laughs> I mean, at the moment, my roots aren't too bad, but it's still not a great view, is it? Right. Okay, so I've got my pieces of jewellery. And as usual, you get three little packets. Each one with one of these little mint mongoose tags on it um, and it says at the moment spend $40 on individual items in our on online shop and receive your next box free so that's nice if you were buying a present for someone you can spend $40 easily and then get a nice box of things but I'm going to dive in so I usually whip some scissors out I'm sure I've got some here but I'm going to try not to because I'm always so afraid of having a disaster so this is this is earrings can now see through the bubble. I mean, it's so well packaged. What do you think this has come from America? America. Um, and it always arrives in absolute immaculate condition. But let's just, oh, let me just sort this out. I've just unhooked that one by accident. Okay, here we go. I'll show you the one that I haven't unhooked by accident. Isn't that pretty? So it's like a shepherd's crook with a loop, a sort of, what would they call that? You know, like on the edge of a coin, it's sort of, not engraved but you know it's serrated almost um hmm oh um no i've just been looking everywhere for something black to hold these up against because i'm aware that they're not showing up very well and i've done a whole sort of circuit of what could i use and then realized there was a box right in front of me that i could use so there we go there is the earring and I like the way that the shepherd's crook, if I can hold it by the very far end, can you see, actually comes up and terminates with a little bobble. Oop. <laughs> I'm so professional. As I say, I've pinged the other one off. So I'm just going to take two seconds to ping it back. So there we go. That's, <laughs> that's the two of them. <laughs> Oh, I'm such a pro. Okay, so on to the next one. Uh, I have this new Apple Watch, right? And I'm failing completely at setting it up properly. And the blinking thing keeps vibrating at me and telling me to stand up. And have I checked my rings, which I thought was quite funny. I was like, what rings? What, what rings is it? And there's something to do with exercise. I'm just not grasping it at all. I'm just using it as a watch, which is a terrible way. So I do have to learn how to use it. This then is, oh, a lovely gold necklace with, 
yeah, with what looks like, um, I don't know, would you call that a daisy or a chrysanthemum? A, maybe even a dahlia. I'm going to go for daisy. I'm going to go for daisy, but I could be completely wrong. It's lovely and long. I love a bit of the gold. I know some people are really not keen on it. My daughter, you know, the one that's getting married, she's just put herself through hell finding... Um, it's got, sorry, it's got one, two, three, four stations on it. So you can have it as long or as short as you want. I'm going to put it on the longest and see if it pops over my head because that's how I put Yes. So there we go. Oh, that is pretty. I can imagine that. I'm going to come in a bit close. I can imagine that against like a black t-shirt. I love a bit of gold. I think when you've got the sun shining, you've got a bit of a tan. You, I think gold looks amazing. But I know a lot of youngsters really don't like gold at all, do they? Um, as I say, she's put herself through hell trying to find um, wedding rings and so on during lockdown for this wedding that's happening in um, two weekends from now. Um, without being able to see them. I mean, you know the experience of going to the jewellers and picking it all out and you think you want one thing and you get in there and then you end up with something else. But yeah, so she's been, and hers was all, had to be white gold or platinum. This is beautiful. Look at this pendant. Can you see? Now I'm showing it without the black box first so you can see the light shining through it. And then if I put, oop, put the black... So again, a gold chain with this sort of luminous blue stone in it. Now, what I like about it in particular, I think it's glass. I'm not, not entirely sure. Maybe an acrylic. I don't know. But can you, oh, I hope you can see, it's got little black squiggles in it, almost like wisps of smoke within it. And another thing that I like about it, again, I'm hoping you can tell, it's rounded on the front and on the back. So there isn't... There isn't a front and back. So if this flips over into, it really doesn't matter. Now this is a shorter one. I'm gonna pop it on. <laughs> we can hope I get to pop it on. And this again has four stations. Um, will I do the loosest? Yes, I'll do the loosest. I've got a very thick neck, guys. So that's just, there we go. I think, I think that hooked really easily. I'm not sure. I might've just hooked it in my hair, hang on. Hang on guys, let me just, no, no, it is hooked. There we go. I hope you can see, isn't that lovely? I love a blue stone, I must admit, I do love a blue stone. My birthstone's green, but I do love a blue stone. And look how different it is if you put it against black and then you put it against white. So it'll go with lots of things. Oh, I'm really pleased with that. Do you know, Mint Mongoose has amazed me. It is so original every month there's thought behind everything and i don't think i honestly can't think of one piece that i've got in mint mongoose and i've thought yeah i don't like that it's all over the house <laughs> i'm terrible for taking jewelry off and dapping it down which is why i am always way better with um fun jewelry like this not buying hideously expensive my husband buys me hideously expensive and i lose it so he has stopped <laughs> Because what happens is when I realise that it's expensive, I tend not to wear it because I'm frightened of losing it because I am a complete class. Anyway, so Mint Mongoose was the earrings. And I've just thrown that earring into my cleavage. <laughs> the earrings. The gold pendant, which is just so, so cute. The beautiful blue and the fabulous... I hope that's, you can see it. Hi love t-shirt. And then as I say, bookishly was Pride and Prejudice. So that's me, that's this done. I don't know when this will be going out. Um, I tried to keep some little ones back. Um, and I have another one to do in a moment, which is, um, you may have already seen. By the time you see this, you may see the one I'm about to film next may have already seen the one I'm about to film next. Uh, but I'm staying busy. It is difficult at the moment though, because you know, I love doing charity shops and showing them to you and things like that. And I'm not able to do that. Um, but I've got some new things coming. <laughs> uh, off the back actually of what I just did. Anyway, I hope you're having a lovely day. I hope it's not pouring down on you the same as it is on me. Uh, if it is, come on guys, you know, get those wellies on. Ugh. 
we're British, remember? Rawr! Anyway, <laughs> see you soon. Bye, guys.